Hi everybody, this is Mr. Tui. I'm the founder of mtcollegeprep.com and I'm the creator of the popular TSI Math Crash Course series available on YouTube. And uh, I'm here to answer one of the most commonly asked questions I get from students, which is the following. What kinds of questions am I going to be seeing on the TSI? What can I expect to see on the TSI? And um, let me answer that question by first explaining sort of the structure of the TSI, and they don't make this clear at all, okay, but let me clarify it for you. The TSI is a 20-question test. Let me repeat that. The TSI math is a 20-question test, okay? Now, you might be like, Mr. Tui, I've taken the TSI, all right, and uh, didn't pass, but it was like 50 or 60 questions, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, here's the deal. Uh, that's true, you may have taken the additional questions after the first 20, but if you pass the first part of the test, those first 20 questions, you're done, finito. You don't have to take any more questions. All right, if you do well enough on those first 20, okay? After that, you may see a wider variety of question types. You may see some more simple arithmetic, some more simple word problems, things like that. But, um, but if you pass the first 20, you are done, you have passed, you don't have to take those remedial math courses. Okay, so the question is, what are those first 20 questions like? Let me show you. All right, so the College Board, the makers of the TSI, have been gracious enough to give us one sample TSI math test. Uh, it's a 15-question test, unlike the 20-question test you'll be seeing uh, when you actually take the TSI. And we can take a look at the variety of question types. We've got question number one has got uh, an isolating variables uh, question number two we've got variables with the direct proportion number three we've got graphing going on here question uh, number four is a word problem with some variables number five is a system of equations and then a bunch of algebraic expression questions and that's going to be really sort of the majority of the question types that you're going to see on this test uh, either equivalent expressions or solving for certain variables uh, we've got functions on number 12. We've got another word problem with some variables from number 13. We've got a median question for number 14 and probability for number 15. So um, again, we're going to see kind of a variety of question types, most of them involving algebraic expressions. That's kind of the heart of the test. So the question is, how do I prepare for those first 20 questions on the test? And um, you can start by watching all my TSI math videos available for free on YouTube. Check them all out. I've got five hours of TSI math instruction. It's going to give you sort of the basic uh, concepts and the basic skills and basic strategies that you're going to need to succeed on the higher level of difficulty questions. Then, if you like that, purchase the full course. You get all the day three and day four uh, instruction in the course where I really focus on the sort of algebraic kinds of questions that you're likeliest to see on the first 20 questions, and I teach you how to simplify those questions and turn them into basic arithmetic questions. So click on the link in the description of the video here in order to purchase the full course. And if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me uh, via email at tuicollegeprep at gmail.com. That's tuicollegeprep, one word, T-O-O-H-E-Y, collegeprep at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, I'll see you around.